Good morning guys. I just got up and I checked my YouTube. I also noticed that we hit 200 subscribers. So thank you so much. That makes me so happy. Like I appreciate it so much. If you're a new viewer and you're just now coming to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm Tarantula Cat and I collect tarantulas. So with that said, definitely hit the subscribe button down below if you'd like to stay tuned. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Without further ado, I think we're just going to do a quick little celebratory rehousing and feed a couple tarantulas. We're actually going to use a Starbucks candy box as an enclosure for one of my slings. It is this peach gummy candy. They also have a chocolate one. Um, but the chocolate one's a little bit more expensive and honestly I was only getting it for, you know, the spider enclosure. But I will say the candy is really good. This was $3.99 at Starbucks and I know that's kind of expensive for candy but the enclosure is really good. It's like pretty decent like thickness and plastic and it's a good size for like a spiderling. Okay, so I'm just gonna say right now that removing the label off of this was a huge ordeal. I don't think I've ever come across an enclosure that had like such a stubborn label. I'm gonna tell you now what I did was use vegetable oil, which I saw in Dark Den's video, how to remove a stupid glue. There's a couple different methods he went over, but that's the one that I used, and it worked pretty good. It's still a little foggy in some places, but I was honestly starting to get pretty impatient. So now that I have the holes that are in the lid of this enclosure, now that the label is finally off, we can get down to business. This is for my Terranopelma sazame, which is all the way at the very bottom. Very hard to see. So that's really funny. You see? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spider. And there's its molt too. So tiny. But look at that, oh my gosh. It almost looks blue, like just a teeny tiny hint. Wow, what a beautiful little spider. And yesterday it caught its first pinhead cricket in my care post molt. So let's do some feedings. We've got Salem right here. He's, uh, you know, he molted not too terribly long ago. So we're gonna get him a nice big fat crick. If I can find one. Look, I got you dinner. Oh shit. Well, there that goes that. I'm sure I'll find it in the bathroom. There you go, get it. Thanks bud. Why'd you let the other one get away? Wester, my mature male Brachypilma albopilosum. He is literally just one of the coolest tarantulas ever.
feed another Grandma Stola Polkra because everybody loves Grandma Stola Polkras. I do not know if we will see this little one eat. See some legs. Okay, well, she got it. Alright everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share this with your tarantula friends if you have any friends that are just getting into the hobby. And like I said before, thank you so, 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 so much. I am just, I like. Also, if you have any requests, um, like for my tarantulas or any of my other animals, um, comment below and I will totally like get onto that because I am trying to kind of like do what I want to do make videos that I would have liked to have seen when I first started getting into the hobby but I also want to kind of cater to what you are into so I'm not really sure I'm like still building an audience and I don't know exactly what everyone wants to see more feeding videos more um, rehousing videos more expo vlogs more pet store tours I have a pretty cool video planned for you guys soon I don't know if I want to say what it is I'm just gonna make it a surprise so see ya see you then yeah I'll probably do a video before that but I don't know math bye